Hi everyone! So today I'm going to do a proper tutorial. Um, I've been liking doing the sped up ones, mainly because it's quite trendy on uh, Instagram, Facebook, but today I'm going to do, because I've had a lot of requests from people asking me to do uh, specific tutorials on eyebrows, eyeliner, contouring. So I'm going to take each step and make a short video for each step. I'm also going to make a whole video on this look. So just a full video on the whole look and then I'm going to break it down and also post each part of the steps as short videos as well. So today I'm going to be creating a sort of burgundy, um, purpley, dark kind of evening look. So I'm going to start by curling my eyelashes. Now a good tip with this is if you are going to be applying false lashes, which I am today, because a lot of people are wanting to know how to apply them so I'm going to create a video. If you're not, then I would say definitely curl them a bit more, um, but if you're wearing false lashes you, won't, you don't want to be curling them too much because it's going to be very difficult to uh, apply them. Next I'm going to be using my eyeshadow primer and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I'm going to put that all over my eyelid and up to the brow bone. What this does is it, um, it creates a base for the eyeshadow. It helps to eliminate the creasing Next, I'm going to take my Fit Me uh, powder by Maybelline, and it's basically just a compact foundation, and you can use any powder foundation. Some people like to use um, liquid foundation or concealer. I prefer this because it just sets my um, where I put the eyeshadow primer, and this will just even out any redness, even out the skin tone on, on the eyelid and set the eyeshadow primer. And it'll just really create a nice light base. Next I will be starting my eyeshadow which is my favourite part of the routine. So I'm going to be using my MAC Burgundy Times 9 palette. As you can see, there's nine burgundy purpley shades, which are really nice. Let's start with this colour right here. I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. And I'm going to take a nice fluffy um, eyeshadow brush and just blend that out next I'm going to be taking the crease brush this is Real Techniques which is my favourite brand of brushes and this is the bold metal range and it's really really good I'm going to go with this really dark purple here I'm going to go into the crease with this just press really lightly you don't want to be creating any harsh lines just yet. And just really work that into the crease. If you've got smaller eyelids, then you want to create more eyelid space. Go slightly above the crease like that. With some of my makeup looks, I do use tape. That is for uh, if I'm creating a more sharp line, if I want to create a more like defined makeup look, a more defined area here. With a smoky eye, you don't really want to do that. You can, but really, if you want to create, if you want to achieve a more smoky look, you don't want to be creating any harsh lines 
I'm now going to take my fluffy eyeshadow brush again and I'm going to just blend that out a little bit only on the outer part of it you don't want to be going into the you don't want to be going onto the eyelid really just literally whatever's above the crease just blend that out a little bit I'm going to take this colour here and I'm going to start on the outer corner of the eye I'm going to bring it up and out just a little bit more than we did The good thing about a smoky eye is you can use any colours. Uh, a smoky eye will literally work with any colour, particularly darker colours. If you're going to be using like a light colour like yellow or silver, obviously you're going to want to use a darker colour with that, like black or you know red or whatever. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Crease brushes are normally a lot smaller, like this one is a lot smaller, as you can see. Um, this is a much bigger, firmer eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to take this colour right here, which is a kind of really, really dark purple almost black and it's got kind of gold glittery shimmery bits in it and I'm gonna just put that on the outer corner of the eye and I'm gonna work that into the crease as well again you want to really darken the crease up. The crease generally should be the darkest area. Really the technique with um, creating a perfect smoky eye is to build it up. You really want to, you don't want to go straight in with black, you know. You want to build it up and smoke it out and really take the time to, to do that. Now, with a smoky eye, with the lid, you can create a cut crease, um, you can create a dark lid, you can create a natural lid. At the minute, it's kind of natural. So, what I want to do, because I'm creating a much more evening lid, um, I want it to be quite dark. So, I'm actually going to take the same shade, the same shade as I just used, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. If you don't want it this dark, you don't have to do this step. You can replace it with a lighter colour. It's really hard to see on the camera, but you can you might be able to see the gold shimmery parts. It's really nice. My palette I'm using actually cost me, I think it was £26, which is quite expensive. Um, another alternative is the Burgundy Bar from Maybelline, which is really, really good. It is really, really good. I think that cost me £7.99. They also do this in um, a nude palette, rock one, graffiti. They have many. I have four different ones because I love them a lot. So now I'm going to add a tiny bit of shimmer, just a tiny bit, and I'm going to use a flat eye brush again. I'm going to use this shade here, really nice. I'm just going to pat that in the centre of my lid. This will highlight the eye, make it much more 3D and just add a really pretty shimmer to the eyelid. As you can see it's quite dark, um, very smoky, 
this is very much an evening look i'd wear it out every day to be honest but that's just me um it is very much an evening look next i'll be using my face primer i use maybelline's baby skin uh, instant pore eraser uh, it's really really good it is absolutely amazing it's very cheap as well i think it cost me six or seven pounds for the foundation i'm going to be using my favorite foundation ever again i'm very pale so i have to work through a lot of different foundations to find my shade l'oreal true match is one million percent the best foundation ever i absolutely love it uh, the thing I love about it as well is because uh, I do people's makeup I have it in about six different shades at the minute I will be getting more <laughs> because it goes from really pale to really dark and it also has all different tones so I've got quite a pinky tone some people got more yellowy goldy gray there's a lot of different um, undertones that people don't really think about and literally I, I don't even know how many shades they do but about 30 different shades you want to be quite careful around the eyes because you don't want to be ruining the eyeshadow particularly if you're doing a smoky eye you don't want to be creating a sharp edge on the outer eyeshadow because then it's not a smoky eye anymore basically and um, what's the point next i'll be using my matching concealer it is the l'oreal true match concealer in the shade rose ivory which is the same shade as my foundation so it's literally the matching concealer i'm going to put that under the eye this gets rid of any darkness any kind of dark circles, blemishes, red areas on the skin. It also highlights a little bit. Blend it in with the sponge again. You can use any kind of blending sponge. This is my favourite one, I like it because it's got the um, flat edge as well. Next I'm going to be setting my makeup with the amazing RCMA No Colour Powder, setting powder. Uh, you can use you know, any kind of beauty blender or whatever, I much prefer to use a powder sponge, it just sticks way better, much easier to use. On the chin this will eliminate the crease. It will also help get rid of the redness and I feel like on my chin the makeup sometimes comes off quite easily and that will just help it stay on much easier. I put it on my smile lines as well because I feel like the makeup always creases but always gets right in the crease and creates um, a not very nice line which I hate now to bake your face you want to leave it on but um, I'm just going to blend it in my neck and then my forehead because I'm going to be doing my eyebrows um, I think I feel like the forehead you know it works quite quickly on the forehead so I don't need to leave it on that much. Next I will be using um, for my eyebrows. This came as a set with two pairs of tweezers as well um, which are really good. Definitely recommend and it comes with these three brushes. There is a um, there's an eyebrow brush, an angled brush and a like a smudgy brush these are really really good definitely recommended I'm gonna brush my eyebrows 
want to be brushing the hair upwards upwards and outwards Maybelline brow satin oh, these are really good you, you get them in a quite a few shades not many but I find that they match many hair colors so one end is a sponge and the other end is a pencil this uh, I use first the sponge end and I just start from the inner corner and brush on this powder it's kind of like a powder sponge it, it's hard to explain it's a little sponge and it has like powder in it I believe this cost me about eight, seven or eight pounds. All these products really in getting super drug literally cost me about seven or eight pounds. Uh, Maybelline very often do a two for one uh, deal in boots and super drug quite often, and I always tend to buy this when it's on offer even if I've got one because they, they do run out. The other end, it's kind of a pencil, it's more, I don't know how you explain it, it's one of the ones that twists up, it's just, it, it looks like a pencil when you put it on. Start from the bottom and you wanna put the pencil just right at the beginning of the brow and draw, and just draw a line. all along the bottom of the brow and then on the top you don't want to start from the beginning you want to start about a few cent a few millimeters in about there and start about there and just draw the line across the brow you want to follow your natural um, brow hairs ideally because it will just be much more natural you don't want to be too fake you don't want your eyebrows to really look like you've just drawn them on so you want to use that and just fill in the brows as well create little hair strokes with the pencil end not too much just a bit like that and then you want to use a this a spongy kind of um, brush uh, which came in that little set and just blend that in so now for the tail um, quite simple all you have to do is just follow your natural hairs all the way along and just make sure you're really making a little strokes you don't want to just draw a line you want to make sure you're doing little strokes like that A lot of people do their eyebrows differently. This is just how I do my eyebrows. You might not like how I do my eyebrows. Um, but yeah, this is how I do my eyebrows. My eyebrows are something I've really struggled with over the years, trying to find my perfect eyebrow routine. So I'm really glad I finally found one that I'm happy with. Now 
there's a saying that um, is very true. Eyebrows are meant to be sisters and not twins. And this is very true. Um, you're never going to get your eyebrows exactly the same and that's okay. So once you're happy with the eyebrow shape, what I do is I grab a highlighter. This is my favourite highlighter. It's called Girl's Best Friend by I Heart Revolution and it's really pretty, um, really nice. And I just get that and I put that on my brow bone. Just to highlight the brow bone. I'm now gonna blend out my uh, setting powder. Grab a nice big fluffy powder brush. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. And just really lightly blend that out. You don't want to be pressing too hard because it will definitely separate the foundation and the powder and it's not a good look. Next I will be using a very small brush, really tiny, and you can see that. And uh, this is the Real Techniques accent, accent brush. I'm going to be using the same uh, palette as earlier and I'm going to take the black and gold shimmery uh, colour and I'm going to be putting that along the lower lash line. I'm an eyeliner just to line the eye. I'm going to be getting a crease brush and using this colour, this colour right here, I'm going to put that all along where we just went but also slightly lower and really smoke that out. I'll be taking a pencil eyeliner and just lining I'm just going to line the eye with my pencil eyeliner. Any pencil eyeliner, they're all the same. <laughs> Pretty much, I don't even know what this one is because it's literally tiny now and the logo is gone. Long gone. Now I'm going to take the highlighter again and I'm just going to put that in the corner of my eye. highlight the eye. Next I'm going to be doing my eyeliner on the top and I'm going to be using my favourite eyeliner ever. It's an eyeliner pen from Soap and Glory called Super Cap and it's amazing, so easy to apply and it's just really really good, really black. So with the eyeliner you want to go as close to the lash line as you can and just draw a line all the way across. You don't want to go all the way across straight away, you just want to take it slow, do it in bits. Depending on the look that you are creating, um, obviously you can choose how thick you want this line. Um, with this one I'm going to do a fairly standard kind of line. Not too thick, but you don't want it too thin. Now for the flick I'm going to be creating it a uh, fairly average size, slightly longer I suppose. I'm going to just draw it, start from the end and just bring it into the line that I just created. Now 
Now for the contouring, I will be using my Laura Geller Bronze and Brighton Baked Colour Correcting Bronzer and it's really cool. I'm going to just go just along the, just under the cheekbone, just along that line and just, you don't want it on the cheekbone obviously because you want to be creating a shadow. So this is where we want the shadow, just under here, just under the cheekbone. We want the cheekbone to stand out, so we don't want that to be a shadow. We want underneath the cheekbone to be the shadow, like that. And now I like to get my powder that I used earlier on, and I'm going to go just under, just along the line I just created just under that, along the jawline. You don't want any orange lines along the uh, jawline. Next, I'm going to take my Laura Geller Baked Blush in Cherry Truffle, and it looks like that. It's really nice. And a blush brush, and I'm going to go just along that line we just created with the bronzer but slightly higher, just slightly higher. I'm going to use my highlighter that I used earlier, the Girls Best Friend. I'm going to use my contour brush and I'm going to use that along my cheekbones. This is where we want to accentuate the cheekbones. So we want them to be nice and highlighted. Just go along the cheekbones slightly higher because you want to. Um, I just want to create the illusion of a nice, high, defined cheekbone. So you're going to go just lightly along the nose. And then what I like to do is just go in with my blush brush again and just take the excess. A blush that I've already got on there and just go over all of that just a little bit not too much just to blend it in and just tone down the highlighter just a little bit I like to use quite a dark blush you can use a lighter blush if you want so there we go there's the contouring done these are in the style Queen they're slightly shorter than most of the other ones uh, they're the shortest ones uh, but they're quite thick and they're quite flared, so they're really nice. Now what you want to do is cut it to the size of your eye. So I like to use little scissors and just cut a few millimetres off just so that it fits your eye really nicely. That should be fine. I like to use this glue, it's duo um, and it's the black one. Now you want to keep blowing it to make it, you want it to dry and you want it to dry to the point where it's nice and tacky. Uh, that is my biggest tip to you, you must wait till it goes tacky. If you don't wait it will slide around, you'll put it on your eye and it will just slide around and it won't stick at all. If you wait for it to go tacky it will go on and it will stick straight away. So you want to wait, I'd say about a minute. 45 seconds to a minute, maybe. The good thing about Sandy Glam Lashes, um, a lot of my customers have said as well, is that they're really easy to apply. They, you don't need to like stretch, you know, like bend them all, they just go on really nicely. Um, I'd say for beginners, Queen are probably a good one because they're quite lightweight and small, so you can just put them on and you can see what you're doing quite easily. Now I like to use this applicator tool. Some people like to use their fingers, some people like to use tweezers. I like to use this and then I'll be sticking it down the tweezers as well. So you want to push the eyelashes down and just make sure that they, they're not in the way. Get this as close to the lash line as you can and just hold it there for a few seconds as central as you can 
until you can feel it just sticking and then I like to use tweezers just to stick it down in the inner corner first and then the outer corner and just really make sure that is stuck down Now I like to take a mascara and just blend that in with my low lashes. This is Bourjois, I don't know how you pronounce that, Bourjois something. Um, Volume Glamour Ultra Curl Mascara and it's really nice. And I like to just start from my natural lashes right at the lash line and just wiggle my way up to the top. Now I'm going to do the bottom of my lashes and uh, just go along the lashes again, wiggle your way down. For the lips I'm going to be using this um, Elizabeth Arden lipstick in the white and so small, raspberry and it's a really nice dark purple. And this is the finished look. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments uh, what you think and if you enjoyed the video and like the look. If you recreate this look please uh, tell me and show me. I would love to know. And yeah, thank you for watching.